Alright, making a video when I shouldn't, but what the hell. <laughs> yeah, it's really late. Um, anyway, um, trying an experiment <laughs> for the hell of it. Uh, anyway, it's already failing. Um, yeah, mostly. Um, yeah, I'm going to read some comments and then try to respond to a couple of half a day points. I'm not sure though. I don't know how which word I'll get to. But we'll just see how it goes. So anyway, the tranquil guy left a comment that's worth playing with. Um, I would love you to reconcile the two things you bring up in the beginning of the video. First, you accuse other people of doing this stoic mush, but afterwards, this is what you actually suggest people do. Okay, uh, as if I'm suggesting people do something. You know, there's different words, there's different definitions of the word stoic. So we're already in trouble with this word stoic. Because there's two impressions of it. One is somebody who um, does well in the world and doesn't expect any kind of reward for it and just does this great, beautiful thing, blah, blah, blah. You know, jumps on a grenade. And then they're stoic in the sense of you're absurdly being slinged and arrowed and you take it with dignity and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so, um, but that's sort of the idea of it. You know, you, you, it's, 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 see, again, it's just vague language. So obviously, I'm not telling somebody to do something absurd. Uh, and be stoic about it. I'm saying, be a janitor. Okay, and I don't mind if you say, I'm janitoring, I'm janitoring, take credit for your janitoring, I don't care. That's not the point. So, I, I mean, there's a huge difference between being productive, okay, and being useless. And that's the argument I was making. Okay, being stoic in the face of absurdity or uselessness or stupidity, pushing boulders up hills for no reason, is not the same as you know, um, catching, going out and saving one sardine in a sea of a billion sardines starving for air, let's say. Those two things are different. Pushing boulder is idiotic and stupid. Saving a sardine from harm is good. You can't see the difference? Yeah, you can. You just don't want to because you're playing games with these words. I didn't, you know, I don't choose to bring up words that had, don't have definitions, okay? Stoic was not a word I routinely threw out in my vocabulary anywhere. You won't see it in any of the first three years of my videos. <sighs> Fuck. Anyway. You say I'm <clears throat> paraphrasing. Well, you're, no, you're lying. <laughs> if you are um, functional, then you have a duty to others. You must endure this, you must. See, you put the word must in here. Okay, endure your suffering. You must sacrifice for others. No, I, I said exactly the opposite. I said I would never impose it, so there goes the must idea. Um, I'm just suggesting that logically and rationally, you're stuck. Okay, I mean, I would not like the dilemma. Like somebody brought me the, the diagram, the proof. Okay, that if I get tortured, a hundred people don't get tortured. That would be tortured if I don't get tortured. I'm not going to like that truth. I might, not, I might not do it unless somebody forces me to. Because I'm selfish. But that's why I wouldn't do it. It's for only one reason. It's because I'm selfish. I wouldn't do it because I couldn't understand logically that that's my obligation. So I'm just, I'm just suggesting in, if somebody's facing suicide and one of the reasons why they're committing suicide is they see no function or purpose, what I'm suggesting is, no, you can find function and purpose, all right? It's there, all right? It's, it's rationally, logically observable in the world. So if, all you're, if, if your real concern is, is that you only live a futile life, well, guess what? Feudal is not in the diagram if you think about it. There's lots of work to get done. And even if you're only saving one sardine, it's one fucking sardine. Oh, fuck, you people are dumb. Um, Zachary, uh, your life is nothing but an equation. Yeah, so you've, now you put the word must with the word equation. 
And again, you know, the fact that your life is an equation isn't my fault, okay? I'm sorry that value comes that way. I'm sorry that the math is doable, that we can really easily figure out you don't rape a woman for a bag of M&Ms, or you don't mug some, you don't bash somebody over the head with a brick to steal a dollar out of their pocket, that there's lots of stuff that is just black and white, factually true. I'm sorry that's the truth, but it's the fucking truth. Um, how exactly is not your own uh, version of Sto how is this not exactly your own version of Stoism? Well, I'm just saying, it's, it's not because I'm not talking about some Sificus dignity bullshit. I'm talking about actual accomplishments, being actually productive, actually solving a problem. So, that's not Stoicism in my opinion. Your problem, it seems, is not with Stoicism. It's the duty of others to... <coughs> others have chosen with theirs. It's the duty others have chosen with theirs, or perhaps in some cases their confusion and waywardness. Either way, if it doesn't correspond to yours, then you deem they are worth attacking. Well, yeah, that's right. If you believe slavery is okay because Darkie is too stupid to know any better, then yeah, I'm going to attack you. All right, and if you're too stupid, like Hothla Day, to figure out the difference between a feeling organism um, and a computer who says, I can't feel, I can't feel, I'm telling you, I can't feel. He can't tell the difference between a machine mimicking sentience and actual sentience. Uh, I mean, what else do we want me to do is say, well, gee, I mean, how clear can I make it? Okay, feelings have quality. All right. If something isn't having a qualitative experience, then it's not sentient. Again, what use are these words if you, if no one's going to uh, recognize what they mean? All right. You can't call something sentient if it doesn't qualitatively feel, feel with emphasis, positive and negative feelings. If its feelings are all neutral feelings, it's not sentient. <sighs> Um, you want their life, <clears throat> you want their life purpose to be the same as yours. No, I'm, look, there's a truth in the reality, tranquil douchebag. You either accept that or you don't accept that, okay? We go our separate ways. If you believe in multiple truths and multiple realities, then I think you're retarded. I think you're an idiot, okay? I don't think there's any evidence of that whatsoever. There's a world, okay? Water's wet, gravity, gravities, uh... <laughs> you know, galaxies, galaxy, they don't all of a sudden do something different, they don't do something for one day and they go back to galaxy again, none of that shit happens, it's a mechanical cause and effect universe, you either accurately describe it or you inaccurately describe it, okay, I'm saying the accurate description is right there in front of us, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> the facts are pointing right at it, evolution points right at it, all right, there's, and, and anyone disagreeing is disagreeing for a personal agenda, Okay, they're rationalizing some thing they're addicted to or some crap they want to be true, not something they care to argue being true. Um, <clears throat> same as yours, to become propagandist for antinatalism. Well, again, I went where, where, you liar. Where have I suggested people become propagandists for antinatalism? Yes, yeah, certainly uh, I have argued that propaganda works, and in in the sense that you you don't you you can't give people the true argument, you know the the whole argument, because they won't consume it. Okay, they won't eat a good meal; they'll only eat candy and representations of a good meal. Okay, a happy meal. That's what they'll eat. So you have to conform big ideas into trivial crap, all right, to get them to start eating it anyway, to get an appetite for it. You have to sort of fool them into eating real food, and then they might say, oh, I get this real food thing, all right? So that's the, the only purpose, the, the only justification I'm giving to the word propaganda is in the sense that propaganda can be for cause, okay? You can, you can, you can simplify a truth and generalize 
to justify a bigotry, like a Nazi or something, or you can simplify uh, a truth because you're just pragmatically dealing with the fact that people want sugar, okay, on the substance. They need it. They have to have the spoonful of sugar for the medicine to go down. You can't understand that. Um, that's the only thing you see value in. Well, I see, yes, yes. Oh, I mean, really, is it that complicated? You only see value in stopping Holocaust and horrible suffering and, and evildoers in the world. Yeah, that's right. That's the only thing I see value in. That's right. Everything else is wanking, jackass. And you're entitled to it. Go ahead and do it. Um, you know, but don't tell me you're doing something of substance. Don't tell me you're doing something useful. Don't tell me you're useful or purposeful or accomplished. So I'm just saying, if you want to have any value in the universe, well, you're not going to get it wanking. Um, stupid fuck. Uh, so you have no tolerance for anything else. Well, again, what is the anything else? What exactly is the anything else? You're either doing something productive truly productive. You're either solving the problem or you're creating the problem. Unfortunately, those are the only two things. This idea that you can walk some fence where you're in neutral territory. There is no neutral. There was no true neutral during wartime. Okay, there just isn't. You're choosing sides when you're choosing not to solve a problem. <sighs> All right. Uh, Piro made it clear that he doesn't see value in that. Well, I don't know. Did he really make that clear? Sorry. That's not what I heard him doing. What I heard him doing was saying that somehow because there's a one in a million chance, we should go for it. Uh, we should be aggressive and impose. We should subject people to the danger, okay, <laughs> because it's not in my backyard. It's essentially what he's saying. Does this thing mean to you that you simply haven't done a good job enough to persuade him? Well, I've said that how many fucking times in videos? You want to? You, you're going to lie to me and tell me you haven't heard me say actually say in videos, okay? That the failure uh, uh, for, for we can't complain. The intelligent people can't complain about the stupid people not understanding because, frankly, the intelligent people should be smart enough to be able to explain it to the stupid people. That yes, of course the failure is mine. Of course I have fucked up. Of course I have fucking failed and it pisses me the fuck off. That's why I'm angry and that's why I'm irritated. It's because I don't think I should have failed. But I have. Alright? And, and the only fault I can find is in the fact that I, my personality isn't good enough. My attitude isn't good enough. I'm constantly trying to modify my approach and my gameplay because obviously... That's what you have to do. And as a very, very last resort, I will become a fake, a phony, a liar. As a very, very last re fucking resort, I will compromise my personal passion, okay, to placate little wimpy jackasses like you and talk baby talk to you. Shit. <sighs> yeah. Um, all right, uh, value in the pyramid, yes, uh, that you shall endeavor to persevere. Yeah, I've said that, right, so that's why you're quoting it. So what, what's your argument here? I don't understand. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to endeavor to uh, uh, see if I can solve the problem, if I can do something to fix it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to endeavor to do that. That is not his fault that you have not been good enough persuader. That it's not his fault. Well, obviously it's a fault of the combination. Right? I mean, if, the, it's, if I got a sledgehammer and I'm trying to break cement, there's two things that matter. How heavy is my sledgehammer and how hard is the cement? So, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to argue to some extent, again, Yes, the fault is mine. I'm going to take responsibility for failing. Because this really shouldn't be that hard to do to explain to imbeciles this shit. As I'm smarter than them, so I should be able to figure out how to talk to them. Um, 
but obviously there's the cement might be really really hard and there just might be there just might not be a sledgehammer hard enough to break the power of in the box cement head traditionalism bullshit which you're an example of you know you're, you you sit there and you're like a sheep you just you, you follow your little icons just like a sheep um, I know your <clears throat> whole being revolts against such fatalism, but perhaps you are just striving after wind. Well, I, yeah, I don't know, what is that, some sort of... I, I, I mean, just the way you worded that, it's almost like you, you, know, you speak pretty good English, so I don't know how you could make that big a... Well, whatever. <laughs> it's like saying it in some funny foreign person way, like mopping the floor is the scrubbing with the stick on the flat surface or something um, as he and many others you attack won't ever be convinced well you're saying so you have proof of that you're the all-seeing brilliant wizard man who sits there and know you can you can look into your little whatever Jedi magic thingy and see the future is that it I don't believe that I don't think you're an authority on what the future will be so Fuck you. Uh, and will always believe that you have irrational confidence in your ability to dissuade others and influence the future. And will always believe. I know the your whole being revolts against such fatalism. Perhaps you are just striving after wind. He, as he and many others you attacked, won't ever be convinced. And will always believe that you have... So you're telling me what Piro believes? So Piro will always believe... Uh, that I have an irrational overconfidence in my ability to persuade others and influence the future. Uh, well, I, I guess, like I said, I mean, Piro said uh, he wants names of people I've persuaded, which I think is a little rude. But I can tell you that people have PM'd me and told me that I've changed their life. I've changed their capacity to recklessly fall into the trap of procreation uh, as a minimum. Um... And I could certainly name people in my personal life, but I'm not going to do that. So I, I don't know what you, you, you know, I'm confident, and you're saying it's overconfidence, okay? You're saying irrational overconfidence. So I'm telling you, I have PMs, I have direct testimony with people who have said that I have, I have given them a change in perspective that likely has prevented them procreating to this point and will prevent them from procreating in the future. And you're telling me, because I have that testimony, I have overconfidence. I'd say the burden of proof is on you to prove, okay, that it's impractical or impossible that I have convinced anybody to change their behavior. I don't think you can do that. Surely, after the great number of videos you have made and the great amount of people you still, <coughs> who still disbelieve, Piro's argument for the ineffectiveness of your method is, is, by all evidence, the one winning. Well, again, so you keep talking as if they were going to cancel Star Trek, you know. I mean, one, you know, one of the, what, top 20 most popular uh, TV shows, right? Uh, you know, so, so you're saying I, you, you have, because you have no confidence, because you think I can't do it, I should believe I can't do it, or that there's some real evidence that it can't be done, that anybody who's ever talked to the wind, so to speak, been a minority opinion, should always just shut up. Gandhi should have listened to the naysayers and the nitpickers like you. Martin Luther King should have listened to the naysayers and nitpickers like you. You should have been an ineffective, whiny, little, wimpy asshole like you and just said, the problem's too big, let it go. Be a selfish cunt like me. Pet kitties and think you're accomplishing something. Fuck you. But it's irrelevant <laughs> that it's not truly effective. Oh, so you made the argument, and yes, you're saying it's ir ir irrelevant. You don't have a choice to keep going with it. Your nervous system needs to keep fighting against something, anything. Well, whatever that means, even if it resolves nothing. With more accusations from you, you prove nothing. You just make accusations because you're a lying cunt. <laughs> it at least prevents the inhibition of action and the following uh, degeneration from it. 
Well, I mean, the inhibition of what action? Again, you're the one saying my my best choice is to just kill myself. So and to do nothing in the world to change the future so I will just end up waking up in Indonesia and having to live all this shit all over again because I couldn't be bothered to stop it. Fuck you. I'm gonna be bothered. I'm here. I'm gonna be bothered. Your purpose when closely examined is no different from anyone else's. Well that's a glib pile of crap thing to say to anybody. Um, okay, you're a sheep. You're as dumb as a sheep. You are an actual sheep, not just a sheep all. You're a sheep. <laughs> the defense mechanism in action. A desperate act to maintain your biological equilibrium. Um, again, I, uh, you're a weak, um, 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 pat, you know, impotent, psychologically and likely in every other respect, impotent, okay, loser, who can't be bothered to try. All right? So you're, you're, you've so turned yourself into a victim, okay, that you can't even fight. You won't fight. So fuck you. Emil Cohen said, I'm a babbling asshole. Yeah, I already know he said that, because that's what he is, a babbling asshole. <laughs> a book is a suicide for postponed. Oh, that's so fucking explicit and rational. I can make so much goddamn sense out of that. I'm going to have to argue with Hothel today about, you know, simple uh, metaphorical language. Like when Einstein says, God doesn't play dice with the universe. That he, Einstein's just saying, look, here's a simple example of why what you're saying is ludicrous. Because nothing does this. Nothing plays dice with anything. Ugh, anyway... I mean, but, but this, a book is a suicide postponed. I'm going to put that next to an Einstein quote. I'm going to put that next to anything. What the fuck does that mean? It's the most idiotic, inane, empty, vacant pile of crap. How can you put words together like that? Why would you quote this as some kind of brilliance? A book is a suicide postponed? What the fuck does that mean? I mean, fuck you. It's nonsense. But that is true. Deep introspection. Huh? Huh? Again, deep introspection didn't draw me to these conclusions, asshole. Unlike you, again, I could figure out the obvious, that I'm here, the sardines are gasping for air, I can at least give them a graceful exit. I can at least euthanize them before they suffocate to death. <laughs> yeah, that's, my, that's the, the minimum I can do. I'm here, I have a steamroller, I can get the job done. Uh, will we ever see the day where Emendum finds out and admits, uh, so you're implying both things here, that I'm that somehow you're smarter than me, which is a pile of shit, or that I know something and I'm not admitting it, which is a pile of shit. So again, more lies by the lying weasel. Uh, that his real motivation behind all his output has been the exact same. Uh, what? A suicide postponed? I mean, quite obviously, <laughs> yeah, if I show up on a planet of shit, right? I wake up on planet shit, and there's shit everywhere, and I'm sitting there saying, shit, I'm on shit planet. Well, I guess, I mean, all I'm going to do is clean up some of the shit while I'm there. But, I, I mean, I just, what's the point? If I'm going to leave the system intact, and other people are going to be transported to, to planet shit, the least I can do is, like in the movie Stargate, let's use the movie, like in the movie Stargate, the primitives of the past had figured out, hey, this Stargate thing is really bad news because the evil alien <laughs> comes through it and, and fucking enslaves us. So let's tear down the Stargate and then he can't get in here. So I can at least do that. I can at least break the Stargate. <sighs> you know, the universal vagina. God, you're such a fucking weasel. Okay, um... And this guy said, Gary already did this in a blow video. He says his actions purpose are basically hope-filled whispers just like everyone else's. Well, I don't know if that's true. He knows as good as anyone that he's stuck playing the same game as everyone else. Well, again, I don't know if that's exactly true. Sucks, but this is the truth. Uh, I don't know, Poodle Susan, how you've missed it, but I've always been clear to me that Amendum is fully aware that what he does is his way of coping. Uh, this isn't true. Um, I don't do this to cope. I already know how to cope with life. I could get through life. 
if my only objective is get through your life. I can get through it. I know how to masturbate. Okay, I mean, I know how to goof off and um, have, you know, sensual and simplistic pleasures. I know how to do that. I don't need to do this to do that. I mean, I can... I can, uh, and, you know, I can certainly do artistic crap and some sort of delusional notion like that somehow, you know, would be fulfilling. But at least it'd be fulfilling perhaps for my ego or something. It means, oh, I left something behind or I could have some sort of ego gratification in doing that. So I certainly have ways that I could satisfy some adventurous uh, notions or, or ambitions or some sort of personal, like I want my name in lights kind of thing. I could certainly find another way to do that. Um, and I could certainly just find a way to mundanely get through one day to the next day to the next day. I can do that. I know how to watch a movie. Okay, I could do that. I could. I, I know how to play video games. I could do that. Okay, I could waste myself through life. I could cope. This isn't just coping. All right, this is what I rationally understand to be a much more useful, functional, purposeful way to get through my life. I mean, I certainly think it probably compromises my comfort and my satisfaction to spend my time arguing with idiots and trying to figure out how to talk like an idiot so they can understand what I'm fucking saying. Yeah, without being liars. All right, Emil. It's very interesting that you say this because when I first pointed this out to him, he rejected it violently in the same way that he has always rejected what I've said. Yes, because what you say is nothing. You say nothing. You say that we all should just say, life is horrible, like some kind of stupid inane Buddhist. Let's all jump in a fire and that'll solve the problem. No, it won't solve the problem. In reaction to my saying that his video making is not what it seems, Interesting. <laughs> this computer does do shit like this. It is a little irritating. Like, why did you do that? Why did you switch windows? I didn't ask you to do that. Hmm? Computer? Computer! Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's doing some sort of blowing up thing, I guess. And many of you, comments, questions, no. Comments. Uh, comments, here they are. No, I just don't know why I did that. Um, nah, <clears throat> that his video making is not what it seems. Well, again, you, you know, whatever. You, you want to keep getting personal, keep trying to say this is not a legitimate philosophical argument. In Mendham hasn't observed anything or calculated anything. Again, I've been arguing to fix the democracy for 30 years. I've been making some of these arguments my entire fucking life. You suck. You're a liar. <laughs> that is the whole self-serving, despite his potential influence on others, that has, that, that it's his, that has immediate therapeutic value to him. Again, it's not therapeutic. I'm just fighting. I just, you know, look, when I was 20-whatever, living in a car, 19, um, you, know, I, I, you know, I had to make these, these, these decisions. And um, I certainly saw no value in dying in the sense that, like I said, I recognize that that's not going to solve any of the problems that created my existence. And if I don't do something about the thing that created me, I will be created again. Something that he desperately needs. Again, all the, this, this, the, the, like again, you, you, you want to obsessively get personal with other people in this pejorative way, and yet you expect them to say, "Gee, will you be my friend, tranquil guy?" Well, fuck you. Um, he <laughs> claimed that while he has some personal investment in it. He is not doing this for himself. I've No, I've claimed exactly the opposite. It's the only way you do anything in the world is that you have to become personally invested in it. You have to motivate your emotional passion or you will not give a fuck. You will not stop slavery unless you make slavery irritate you and bother you. It has to be personal for you or you won't do a goddamn thing about it. Um... 
he is sacrificing, uh, whatever. Essentially, he said there are better ways for him to obtain gratification than doing this, and so that, therefore, I am wrong. Well, I've just said that again. According to him, his psychology doesn't need any of this fighting and debating. Well, again, you really don't think um, there's evidence that I have enough imagination and creativity where I could not find myself quite gratified and satisfied as maybe working in some kind of, you know, industry, uh, a creative industry of some sort. Um, doing creative things and interesting things that are totally um, and, and totally being ignorant of uh, <clears throat> the social harm it might be creating. You, you don't think I have those skills? Fuck you. Okay, yeah, who's in denial then, asshole? And I'm saying that he does. He has, uh, he has to fight. It's what has kept him reasonably sane. Oh, again, it hasn't kept me sane. I know how to be sane. I did it. Okay, the, 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 there was an entire decade of my life where I did give up on fighting with the world. And I sat here and I basically just wallowed in shit. I just wallowed in trivial crap. So don't tell me I don't know how to wallow in trivial crap because I have done it. I've been there and done that and it's fun. Okay, I mean, it's one of the reasons why I'm as kind of physically fit as I am. It's because I went out and I enjoyed physical activities and that kind of thing. So don't tell me I don't know how to do that shit, jackass. Uh, for all this time between fight and flight, fight, flight, and fight, he has always chosen fight. Well, again, I haven't, not in my life history, so you don't know shit about me, so shut the fuck up. Really, this this personal... Uh, you know, this is just such a raggy way to interact on the internet, you motherfucker. <laughs> because that's what he sees as noble and rational and logical. Well, again, I, it doesn't matter whether I see it as those things. I feel it as those things. Uh, now, I, yes, I see this truth as being the only possible truth. I am convinced beyond convincing. Um that none of you little weasels are going to come up with any rational excuse for me to go play bouncy ball while the sardines are suffocating in the bay. There's no, I don't, you're never going to come up with a rational reason why I have two choices. I can enjoy saving sardines, or I can at least find it stimulating, and do it and accomplish it. Or I can go play hopscotch. Those are my two choices. Uh, and I'm saying certainly, yeah, it's a lot better to do the sardine saving thing. Um, because that's what he sees around. Uh, he judges fight as ca he f judges flight as cowardice. Well, I don't. I'm saying it, admit you can't do something. Fine, you're you're selling it, jackass. You don't want to just run away. You're trying to subvert. The soldiers, you're trying to tell all the other soldiers you can't win the war. No, 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 run away with me. Be a coward like me. Yeah, no, that's cowardice, okay? You want to just sneak away and hide behind a tree? Go ahead, jackass. You want to go fucking shoot yourself in the head and bury yourself on the battlefield? Fine, go ahead. All right, but when you're shooting the other soldiers or when you're trying to, you know, ensnare them in your whimpery, Okay, let's all go have a good cry instead. Well, fuck you then. Yeah, you're the enemy. You're worse than the enemy. All right, I'd rather the soldiers die from a bullet from Hitler than die because fucking Tranquil convinced them to shoot themselves. Fuck you. Uh, failing to see it as a valid and often preferable option. Yeah, preferable for what? Complete failure. Give up. Yeah, that works for me. I like being a giver-upper, and I need other people to have a circle jerk in my give-up uh, hovel. Yeah, well, fuck you and your circle jerk of failure and give-up. Fuck you. <laughs> I've never once heard him admit that this is all a way for him to cope. Again, I just really don't see how. You think I'm having a good time now, huh? Is that what you really think, you fucking piece of pus? You make me want to goddamn fucking puke times this fucking speed of light square, you weasley piece of shit. You stir my innards. My guts are twisted because of fucking cunts like you. So don't tell me I'm having a good time, you weasley little piece of shit. 
It's always about the cause and the idea that it's all rational. Well, it is all fucking rational, jackass, and you haven't made one fucking rational counter-argument here. You haven't explained how evolution isn't a fact here. You haven't explained how anything I have said isn't a fact when I've argued those facts. You're just doing personal character assassination, you fucking little weasel. Uh, perhaps you could link me to a video uh, <coughs> of his where he admits this if I have indeed missed it. Well, she's not going to agree with that premise, jackass. She's certainly not going to agree with your perversion of the interpretation, you little weasley piece of crap. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to get to Hothlady in this video. Look at all this crap. Surely you aren't claiming <coughs> this way of coping is no more logical than, say, one who copes by reading fantasy novels. So I don't know who said that, but, you know, I, I mean, there must be a, a comment missing somewhere. So this is, he's quoting somebody else. I would argue that the person who uses his imagination, the escapist, is indeed believing the escapist. That can't be tranquil talking. Oh, it is. He, he, he knows what he calls somebody an escapist when that's exactly what he is. Uh, is indeed behaving more rationally than the person who <clears throat> is putting up a fight. Oh, okay, so he does believe that. I would argue that the person who uses his imagination the escapist, is indeed behaving more rationally than the person putting up a fight, which resolves nothing. Well, again, you're saying it resolves nothing, and what evidence do you have that it resolves nothing? Again, I can give you personal testimony of people. You're, and like I said, you're, you're, you're supposed to be making me believe that I have changed no one's life, that I have changed no one's perspective, and that their destiny hasn't been altered and their behavior hasn't been altered by anything I've said. I think I will also, <clears throat> I think you will also think, and you're saying that you know for a certainty that this philosophy can never win the day, it'll never win the argument, people can never understand slavery is wrong. That's essentially what you're saying. They can never understand that slavery is wrong. Even though the world, so, so you're just like somebody saying, look, slavery's been around for 400 years. You're not going to change people's minds. You're saying exactly the same thing here. You're saying that people can't understand there's a huge burden that comes with having children. It is not a play toy. You either do it because you have purpose or you don't do it. It is not something you use to masturbate to. It is not a dildo. A child is not a dildo. You do not use them to please yourself. <laughs> but of course the argument then becomes do the videos that Eminem puts out resolve or accomplish anything? I will let people judge of that for themselves. Well, um, what people are those? Uh, you know, again, are, are they the, the people you think who don't understand reality? So you're saying their misunderstanding of reality is correct? So you're using their false testimony that amendum is wrong for your purposes? Or are you saying, well, we the fire jumpers, okay, we the, uh, you know, um, you know, fight fire by jumping in a fire. Uh, you know, we don't think Amendum's right. Well, duh. <laughs> Do you actually think he, he sees his biology as anything different than anyone else's? That's one of the st strangest things with Amendum. Verbally, he will admit that he is not, but a lot of what he says and what he believes seems to betray it. How else would you explain such low tolerance for, <clears throat> in the face of absurdly determined individuals again see this 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 guy is you know low tolerance again uh, we're not allowed to call somebody who can't add two and two who went to school for let's say 12 years and never figured never 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 would say two plus two equals four wouldn't learn it we can't call them an idiot or an asshole I mean we 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 have no right to call something broken just because, because it's a deterministic universe, we don't have a right to label something unproductive. So just because toasters don't make themselves and toasters aren't responsible for themselves, if your toaster doesn't work and doesn't toast toast, you're not allowed to say it's a broken toaster. Oh, fuck. It seems unavoidable, especially when you put out so much content and again con yes that's right i put out so much content and i use words like deterrence over and over and over again i say things like 
Without deterrence, yes, there's no, absolutely no reason not to have complete tolerance. Absolute, universal, infinite tolerance would only be appropriate in a world where there's no fucking such thing as deterrence, you idiot. And see, that's your world. That's your fantasy world where nothing is changed by the interaction we involve ourselves in. Here you are saying we're determined and yet you're saying, but don't do the determined part. <laughs> yeah, don't do the part that actually determines. You know, do the anti-determinism. Somehow revolt against the determinism by determining yourself to be an asshole. Be like the asshole to fight your determinism. It doesn't make any fucking sense. It's, it's, it's logically obvious. You, you, you reflexively react to the logic. You do the 2 plus 2 equals 4. And you do the appropriate thing, which is recognize that by putting tiny punishments associated with crimes that you can prevent crime. Duh! It seems unavoidable, especially when you put out so much content. Besides, he can't simply... <clears throat> he can simply disagree with my points from a biological perspective, denying them their scientific validity. Well, I don't, I don't know what point do you have. Oh, that's right, you don't have a point. He doesn't have to be seeing himself differently. That's a question only worth considering if we know he is in agreement. Doesn't have to be seeing himself differently. Well, I just don't even understand this. What, I, again, I, I, <laughs> lizard, ape, human. Uh, you know, I, I don't need to go over and over this. Yeah, we're all biological organisms. It's a truth that you absolutely suck as a human being, and I'm actually ab absolutely spectacular by comparison. Yes, by comparison to real good, you know, perfect humans, I suck. But com by comparison to you, I'm so fucking kick-ass. I believe that he is not that. He is not, and that he hasn't really given much thought to the things brought up <coughs> in Zapfri's or Becker's work in defense <coughs> work and defense mechanisms in general. You can't quote anything from these jackasses that means a goddamn fucking thing. We already saw one of your fucking idiotic quotes. A book is a suicide postponed. Yeah, that kind of mumbo jumbo is about as useless as fucking human com communication as I can imagine. You might as well just sit in the mud and talk like a baby. Just goo goo gaga bullshit. Okay, fuck Becker, fuck Zapfi, fuck this idiotic, um, inarticulate, um, whiny, wimpy, oh, woe is me, the universe keeps farting, we can't give it a f stop farting pill, oh, fuck you, okay, you can't if you don't try, that's for sure, you jackass. It's an avenue of thought that I haven't seen him explore at any point. I don't even know what that means, but uh, yeah, fuck that. You, you, you semi-religious assholes. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you and your, your idiotic, God is a flatworm. That's why we're like flatworms, because we're made in God's image. The great flatworm. Um, to your first paragraph, you say he claims that he has some personal investment in it. Then he claims he is not doing this for himself. You seem to be exploiting language here. You don't really believe <clears throat> that having some... Well, he sure as fuck is perverting language. Personal investment in doing things necessitates that it be done wholly for oneself and not for others as well.